kind of looks like something out of a science fiction movie, but the goal of this 300-pound, five-foot robot is to keep us safe. One being tested right here in our area. It looks like one of those household vacuum cleaners uh, on steroids. Fox 13's Catherine Hawley had the chance to check out this technology today. So these robots, Catherine, are intelligent. They can do all the things that we do, right? Yeah, Chris and Kelly, they're actually known as autonomous data machines. The technology is already being used in shopping malls and office complexes. But this robot is the first of its kind in Florida. And it's doing trial runs to patrol a Pasco County community. Precious cargo in this massive shipping crate arrived at Union Park in Wesley Chapel just days ago. The machine inside is part of a one-year pilot program. We affectionately call him Deputy Metro. The robot's been wheeling around this neighborhood and other Metro Development Group properties with the end goal of stepping up security and stopping illegal activity, adding a second pair of eyes to the streets. It's essentially just a, a roving patrol that will keep the bad people out uh, of our communities. The machine is called K5, and it's part of California-based Nightscope's beta program for security bots. This guard won't be armed with a gun, but it's loaded with four high-def cameras for 360-degree vision, an infrared sensor so it can see at night, and a two-way intercom that people can use to get help. The software is programmed to alert and notify, and, and the idea is that if there's a notification, that there's a distress call, or there's an issue here, someone can quickly look at it in real time and try and get the help uh, if people need that. Like security cameras or anything else. Jacob Crosby welcomes the technology around the neighborhood. He says having a security bot would make him feel more protected. I, I think it could definitely come in handy if something were to happen, like a break-in or something. It could definitely detect that. The machine is just in the testing phase right now. However, Metro Development Group plans to work with the Pasco County Sheriff's Office so officials have access to any of the video Deputy Metro records. We take people's privacy and security very, very seriously, and uh, so will the Nightscope uh, robot as well. Now, since Deputy Metro is so new, right now it's just mapping out the neighborhoods so it can start roving around on its own. Exactly how the technology will be put to use is still a work in progress. Kelly and Chris. All right, thank you so much, Catherine.